Um, we think about open and uh, what it means quite a lot, um, what it means for uh, pupils, um, what it means for teachers, uh, and what it means for uh, us as a business. Um, and uh, and so to reflect on it is, is, is a nice thing to be able to do, so thank you. Um, it feels like there's lots of uh, great opportunities at the moment, and the technology is kind of forging ahead uh, and making things that were um, unattainable, very attainable. Um, but there are still still barriers in the way, uh, and I think one of the big barriers is uh, people's attitudes uh, and the fact that people are moving at very different paces, uh, especially within education, uh, and also that some educations have uh, educational institutions have vested interests. Um, uh, and in many ways, some of the same issues are around uh, when we started ten years ago. Uh, it reminds me of the very first project uh, we worked on. Um, we developed a bit of uh, software which let uh, researchers um, collaborate with each other online and, and share media. And we thought, wow, this would be cool if we tried it in a school, uh, which we did. There was an opportunity to work in a, um, in a, a kind of very deprived um, school with, with very little tech. Um, so little tech that we actually had to work uh, in the secretary's office because it was the only computer in the whole school uh, which was connected to the internet. How things have changed. Um, the idea was really nice. Um, it was that um, the, we had the students were asked, or pupils were asked, to go and take two pictures. One picture of um, their home environment and one, in, one, um, one picture of where they like to play. And then to write a poem about their hopes and dreams. Uh, and then we... Um, uh, work with them to upload this uh, online and there was a kind of a, a really nice juxtaposition uh, of their um, poem and the, the reality uh, of, of where they were. Um, uh, permission slips weren't sent home to parents uh, and it wasn't long before they had a bit of a delegation at the school saying uh, what are you doing um, putting our children uh, children on the internet um, how could you? Uh, we had a we had a panic score call from the school saying uh, what have you got us into, and can you come and get us out of it? So we went in and met the parents, um, and played them the stories and um, and showed them the pictures, and their attitudes changed, uh, you know, because they, they they were very poignant. A lot of these pieces of work, um, and over the next couple of months, they became our biggest advocates, uh, and actually fundraised to put a, a computer in the local library so the whole community could hear what the young people were saying. Now, clearly the technology has changed since then, um, but the, um, the attitudes are still, still amazingly prevalent and, um, and, and it's often quite difficult um, for schools to, um, to open up uh, content, uh, not because there's great risk, uh, not, not in in a protection um, way, but but certainly there is risk um, for the young person creating um, that content and uploading it, and and I think that as in the as in there's a risk that uh, of what other people will think. Um, so when you publish something online, uh, it can be a scary thing to do, and um, and that makes it real. Um, and um, as long as it's done in a, su a supportive environment that gets real feedback and uh, real feedback from peers uh, and from uh, leaders in that area, it's, a, it's a, an amazing confidence boost w we see. Uh, it's empowering um, and we're seeing op opportunities um, that wouldn't um, be possible for uh, pupils um, uh, being offered to them because, uh, because people are discovering them online. Um, which, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, and I think the same principles actually apply for uh, adult learners as well as, as, well as students. A, a lot of the issues are around, around confidence. Um, for the past few years, um, we've been looking uh, and working with um, open badges. And in case you haven't heard of um, them, they're, they're small micro-credentials that can be created and earned by anybody. They have metadata locked inside them, which tells the viewer uh, what the person has done to earn them um, and who has awarded them, uh, plus a whole load of other stuff. Um, the data is held by the Mozilla um, and who have got a good record with uh, holding data uh, and the, it's controlled by the badge earner. So to us it seems like a really equitable um, agreement. Um, 
uh, and there's a community of organisations who are working out what this means to learning, learners and, and educators from universities to, um, to, to private organisations. So it's exciting. And the reason we're particularly excited uh, is that they're providing an opportunity for young people to direct their own learning uh, and provide a mechanism for that learning to come from all sorts of sources. So it can come from within the school, it can come from across uh, groups of schools, uh, and it can come from outside of organisations. Um, from outside organisations, um, they allow for that value to be built um, uh, around demand uh, and then also for that badge to be verified. Um, uh, and learning should be directed by the learner surely um, because choice is often not built in and we see the damage that that does. People feel constructed and then they get disengaged um, and choice um, uh, can really turn that around and, and turn it around remarkably quickly. Um, uh, and particularly in the environment we're in at the moment where policy chain policy um, doesn't help um, uh, and often um, has a very narrow definition of what learning should be. Um, so there's lots uh, more to be worked out uh, but we do feel there's an amazing opportunity at the moment to open up learning uh, and provide choice uh, and success, uh, sorry, and ex access. Um, for young young people, so we're quite optimistic and excited about what the next uh, ten years can bring, and maybe it will just be um, uh, like like the TV in the sixties. We won't be talking about it in the same way in a few years' time. <laughs>